Hi, so in this lecture we will add an our load method. So let's take a look at our code. If we run our code right now, we will see that we have added when we press on download, we can see sort of download this brand fun function. So we need to add the download code and this download method. So first of all, let's stop this code and let's open the designer. And let's open our front end file or our UI file. Yeah, so this is our UI. First of all, we need to take the URL from the user. So I'm gonna say download URL equal to, and we need also to take the save location. So we're gonna say save location equal to. Okay. So the download URL will be this line edit. So here we're gonna say self dot line edit dot text to get this text from this line edit. And the save location we're gonna say the same except this is line edit two. So we're gonna say equal to self dot line edit two the text. So now we have the download URL and we have also the save location. So we need to start downloading our file. So I'm gonna use the URL lab function. Yeah, I've, I imported this function, import URL lab dot request. And in our download method, I'm gonna use this function. And sorry about this. This was empty, this was an empty function. So let's type S, yeah, just like this. So first of all, we gonna use this URL lab to start downloading. So here we're gonna say, your lip dot request dot url retrieve yeah and if we take a look at this method we're gonna say that it takes a url a file name from us so let's add this so first of all we need to give it the url and this is will be the download url and takes also from us the, the save location. And this method actually gives us information about this download. So we need to take this information and give it to the handle progress method. Actually, this is also MT method. So let's delete this code. I'm sorry, but I was trying this code before recording the video. So I'm gonna pass here. So this URL lab that is request that URL retrieve will give some information about this download or about this file like the, the, the file size and so on to this handle progress so we need to guess the handle progress method so we're gonna say self dot handle progress yeah just like this so now this method will take this download URL and they will save this file on this location and we'll pass this information to our handle progress method so let's delete those okay this is awesome so now we need to take those information from this handle progress and give it to our handle progress method so here in our handle progress we're gonna take a look at those information so we have some information first of all we're gonna take the block sum the block number block num this is stands for the, the blocks number how many blocks on this file and we have the block size the size for every block and we have the total size so we're gonna see, we're gonna take those information from this method so we're gonna have how many blocks on this file and how much of the block sizes and the total size so we're gonna do a simple math equation to get the total size of, for this file. So we're gonna say the read or the read data equal to, and we're gonna say the block sum or the block number. So this is block, yeah. Block num multiply block size. So now we, we've got the rooted data. How many blocks we've rooted and multiply the block size. 
So we're gonna save this total or if the total size for this file is bigger than zero, we're gonna type our functions. We're gonna say that I will load percentage equal to, and we're gonna see the rigid data multiply 100 divided by the total size just to get the, the percentage for the downloaded file and we're gonna give those information to our progress bar so let's take a look at our progress bar this is our progress bar so we're gonna say self dot progress bar dot set value and we are gonna give it the download percentage and we need also to so now we have we've, we've, we've handled those information and our the handle progress and we need something else so let's run our code right now and we need to enable this browse, browse button so when we press on this browse we need to browse to a safe location so let's do this So let's open our code and in this handle browse we need to add our code. So first of all we're gonna say we're gonna use Q file dialog. So we're gonna say the save location equal to and this will be Q file dialog that get sorry file yeah dot get save file name yeah just like this and this will take us will take as we can see here the directory so first we'll, we'll take the self and a uh, will take also a caption so we're gonna say caption equal to and we're gonna say save as yeah and we'll take the directory so the directory will be the dot extends the the main directory and we'll take the filter so we're going to say filter equal to and we're going to say all files and we're going to use this slicing all files with this parentheses like this yeah just like this and don't forget to put it in double quote or single quote yeah just like this and then now we will have the, the boss we've got from the save location so we need to give this text to our line edit so let's see self dot line edit so this is the save location so this is line edit 2 so we're gonna say self dot line edit 2 and that's set text equal to the save location okay so now let's run our code and let's press on browse and let's go to the desktop and let's say one let's add this so let's hit save so now we've got an error set text server so this argument has an expected type tuple so let's print the save location so we're gonna say print and we're gonna print the save location So I'm gonna browse to the desktop again. I'm gonna press one. So I'm gonna hit save. Then the program will crash, and now we have this tuple with the both and the type. So we need to take only the both. So we're gonna say set text equal to str of this save location. So let's run our code again. And let's hit browse, let's stick to the desktop, let's hit one, and let's hit save. So now we've got users, MacBook, desktop, one, all files. So this is a tuple, and we need to, to take only this, the first slice from this file, from this tuple. So we're going to say save location of zero. 
So let's run our code and let's browse to the desktop. Let's say one and let's hit save. So now we've got users makebook desktop one. So now we have the path to the downloaded file. So this is awesome. So now we've added our handle browse and we've added also the handle browse. So we need to start downloading a file. So let's do this. I'm gonna run our code and I'm gonna use a test data. So this is the file we're gonna download. This is sublime text. And I'm gonna add this in here and then get browse to the desktop. I'm gonna call this sublime.dmg. For now, we have to write the file name and extension. And let's hit save. So let's press download. And the app is freezing. Okay. As we can see, no responsive application for license. We're gonna ignore this. The file is being downloaded actually. So if we take a look at the desktop to other, we're gonna have sublime.dmg. The file is being downloaded, but our app now runs on only one third. So this makes the UI freezing while downloading the file. Don't worry, we're gonna fix this. But for initial, for an initial way to fix this issue, we're gonna write a simple function to handle this method. So we're gonna say in our handle progress, so here, we're gonna say queue application dot process events. So this will, let's say that this will make the UI some kind of responsive to treat with. So let's add our URL, the image, and let's Let's leave this sublime, move the trash, and let's try again. So I'm going to say sublime.dmg, and let's hit save. So let's press download. So the UI is not that, it's not crashing, and the progress bar is working. And we have here sublime.dmg. This is awesome. Everything's working fine. So don't worry, we're going to use threading to solve this issue. So now we have our download function is working fine. But what if we run our app and we did not enter a valid URL or a URL or a save location? So we press download. So we got an error. Unknown URL type because this URL is empty. So we need to fix this issue. And we're gonna do this in the next lecture.